Hi guys, it's me, Reagan, and today I am doing a makeup tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday makeup look. I like to choose eyeshadow that looks elegant and beautiful but doesn't look too extreme for going to the grocery store or being on a Zoom call. I'll show you guys how I get this look. To start out, I'm going to show you guys what products I use. I should take more care of this because it's the best eyeshadow palette I've ever gotten. But it is Pat McGrath's Mothership 5. And it got all mangled in my move, even though I tried to protect it, but it got all mangled. And they have a lot of sparkly colors in this kit, which I really love. Next, I'll show you guys. I have some Sephora liquid eyeshadows. I use this darker color here. It has kind of a bronze look to it. I'm going to start off with my Glow Minerals Lid Primer. I'm just going to use my finger. My mom's a makeup artist and an esthetician and she says the best tools are your hands. So make sure you wash your hands before you use them and make sure you wash your face before you start putting makeup on it because you want to make sure that your skin stays healthy even when you're using your makeup. I'm just going to cover that. Over the whole lid. Make sure you're blending it in. Use your other finger if you're using a finger or if you're using a brush, use your other brush, your blending brush. So this is the blending brush I have. It's a little bit smaller. I only use it to blend. And then I also have an even smaller blending brush that I use sometimes for my crease. But I'm gonna do that, blend it, blend. And if you want to, if you use your finger and you just want to blend a little bit with the brush, you do that. Just primer, basic. Let's get into the first color. So, I'll be using that basic color right here that I showed you before. It's going to get a lot on there. Now my brush is filled and I'm going to put it over my entire lid. Make sure that it is covering the crease too. And a little bit up on the brow too. If you want it just to stay here and not under the brow, then you do not have to do that, but just depends on what you're feeling. So now I have my whole eye covered, and I like to have it so that that color specifically comes here too, by my tear duct. It opens up my eye, and um, it looks cute. I just like the way it looks. So there. I'm going to move on to the sparkly gold right here. And I like to mix that with the color I just used. I'll show you guys how I mixed it. Just took a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Just rub around a little few times. And then basic movements, left to right, right to left. I go back and forth so that it's even. So you can see that there's some eyeshadow getting outside. Clean that up after. Don't put your, if you are going to put on foundation or anything on the other part of your face, put that on afterwards so that you don't ruin it with whatever eyeshadow falls down. I'm going to move on to this bronze color that I showed you before. Specifically with Pat McGrath, this one's very dark, so I pat it on just a little bit. I'm going to pat it on your wrist. You can always wash off your wrist just so that you know you have you don't have too much eyeshadow because once you put it on then you got a clump you don't want to have to redo your eye I'm not doing the full lid I'm only doing from here to here this side looks farther this way than this one does I'm just going to even it out. A 
okay, better. So now I just have the basics done. Now, to add a little sparkle, I know there's already sparkle, but I like to add liquid eyeshadow. I have this gold here. Really like this color. It adds a little pizzazz. You want to be very careful with liquid eyeshadow because sometimes it can smear in one specific spot. So I like to dab a little bit here. As you can see, I put a couple little dots. Then I'm going to use the same brush I used and just basically dab it on. Right now it looks a little clumpy, but I'm going to fix that with some water and a brush and I'm going to recover it with the same eyeshadow that I used prior to it. I like to make sure there's a very mixed and blended look to it in the end. It's very sparkly. So now I have that. I'm going to take the same bronze slash brown color that I had before. I'm going to cover it a little bit. just want to blend it. Otherwise, it's going to look clumpy. I'm going to take my blend brush and first I'm going to try to blend with no water, with a completely dry brush. I've done the basic blending. I'm going to take the same brush, I'm going to dip it once, just the tip, in some water. I'm going to tap my arm a couple times, I'm going to dip it again, tap my arm a couple times, don't want it to be too wet. And I'm going to only get the end with the wet brush. Just want to make sure that the liquid eyeshadow is not clumped. Now you can see the basics. Very messy. That's why I'm going to take my other blending brush and I'm going to go over it again. Make sure you're getting the crease. Don't want eyeshadow to be stuck in the crease. Okay, I'll wipe off. That same color that I started with. Take the blending brush, get a little bit of that. I don't like to go too far. Not going to cover too much of the dark color. Have a little bit too much under my eyebrows. So I'm going to use my fingers. I'm going to put on some eyeliner. And you can either use an eyeliner brush, get your brush wet, use some dark or whatever color eyeshadow you want to use for your eyeliner, you can do that. Or you can use actual eyeliner. I'm going to take this, going to wet it, going to put it in just a basic brown and I'm going to move my eyelid out like this so it's easier to see. I like holding it, my eyelid like this so I can see exactly what I'm doing without having to reference back and forth. If you have the issue that I do where I sometimes do it thicker than needed, I just get the brush wet again and I go over it another time. Thins it out. I'm going to let it dry a little bit. I like to do this. It helps it dry just a little bit quicker because I used a wet brush and the eyeshadow is eyeliner. If you're using eyeliner, you obviously don't have to do this. But basic look here. Take it one last time. Just do a little blending. My dry blend brush. I have three separate mascaras that I like to use. I start off with Pat McGrath's Fetish Eyes Mascara because it's very thick. But I like my eyelashes to look long as well. Do this.
that's the look it gives. Basic. But I like to add a little more. If I want it to wing out a little bit, I have Maybelline's The Coliseum Volume Express. I like to add volume. I like this one to top it off, and it's Pacifica Stellar Gaze Length and Strength Mineral Mascara. I think it's a perfect way to top it off. For the rest of my face, I don't typically use foundation except for at certain points, and when that does happen, then I like to cover my skin with Glow Minerals Sheer Tint Base and Mineral Natural Skin Care. This is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like it, comment below to say what you'd like to see next time, and subscribe! Bye!